Yo, if you, if you hear how you talk, you do absolutely nothing. There's nothing to apologize. It's nothing you never did. You, you can't I even. I own my. No, that's can't under, no you don't. I own What's up, you all? Welcome back to the channel. So, if you have not been keeping up with this uh, love and hip hop fiasco regarding Bambi and Scrappy, this has been going on throughout their relationship. They have had so many different issues that they have put out to the public within the last six months. Let's check out this clip and let's chop it up. I'm trying to you drive you crazy. Like you do nothing at all. I'm trying to if, drive you, you if, you hear, if you hear how you talk, you do absolutely nothing. There's nothing to apologize. There's nothing you never did. You, you can't I even- I own my- no yeah, no, you don't. I own my when something happens, I don't even say everything. You, you bring people times. into this marriage. You, you do too. Don't say like that. You were just in a person's DM that you used to date, talking about I am the person and all this. Why are you still attempting to be with me if I'm so horrible? I am with you. Why? What? I'm not. Why were you? To be why, with why were you trying to still be with me if I was so? Well, horrible? I didn't know you were that horrible. I didn't. Oh, know you didn't know I was that horrible. That I was jealous and all. All this type of in their DMs. I didn't know you were doing that. Oh. Looking at my husband's phone, seeing him frolicking on oh. Millennium Sword. Yeah. Then I understand why you started acting why, how you was acting. You got me tripping. Rumor has it you outside with hella bitches. Gave you children, gave you love, you acting different. So no more love, I'm to this paper on hella mission. You trying to make me look bad? Go ahead. That shit won't work. This is projected. This, this is work. you projected. You sabotage. You trying to sabotage. You sabotage your career. You can't even go do what you got to do and come home. You don't want me to do that. I want you to do an amazing. Why would I want you to fail? I want, to fail? I want my kids to have an amazing father. Well, I guess that went um well. Feel like I'm walking into an ambush. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm walking up in here. First of all to see my wife talk to her, kiss on her and stuff. Everybody got the, the look on their face like the F you. You know what time it is, Scrap? You already know what time it is. I ain't finna f with it like that. I ain't finna argue with you, battle with you. It's over with. I am not a sucker. Do I like a sucker? That's, that's how she talked to me, like I'm a sucker. If you mad cause I was talking to my mama, you know what I'm saying, and she made whatever in her head and said what she said, man, that's my mama, you know what I'm saying? We know that. Mm-hmm, cause you're thirsty. Sometimes somebody put your child down to make themselves big and lie and lie and lie and got people on the cast of the show thinking my son is that bad, but he went bad. Then called my son a broke He went broke, he bought you diamonds. He went broke, he bought you a meat coat. He went broke to put you in a big house. So he went broke, but now he broke. Okay, all right. So you know what she don't realize she's doing? Other men gonna be watching our show. They gonna be watching our show and they gonna see how she treats him. Mm -hmm. They're gonna watch and what she, what she don't understand or not, Ain't no nigga gonna touch her within a mile around. You out of pocket. I'm not gonna stop it because you don't understand. You got grown kids to so tell me to stop. Okay, then when people hurt your kids, they hurt you. You are talking to all the people that ain't your mama or your family. You know, it has to be a double standard somewhere between the lines. So we've been not. around this block a few times. Nah, bro, I've never visited this block. I've oh, never been okay. here. I've never okay. been with somebody that I thought I supposed to, that they're supposed to help me and I'm supposed to help them and they think I'm just supposed to help them. I've never been a part of that situation. I've never been there. Is it, y'all, like, is it a separation? Is it a divorce? What's well, going on? Well, we with are moment? residing at the same residence. Okay. So, you know, we're not separated. Okay. I mean, y'all working it out. We're just, you know. It's the latest. She filed for divorce. I'm not going to unfile it. She did it. So until it's like that, I'm going with the flow. Y'all, this Scrappy and Bambi situation is, not only is it messy, but it's quite sad. Two adults who chose to be with one another to not have the maturity and the wisdom to learn how to stop posting all of their business and putting things out there instead of just going behind closed doors and settling things. However, I do understand that they signed up for a show that really had no interest in their well-being. And they also did that in exchange for a bag and some type of continued type of relevancy in the media. As wives, when you're having issues in your marriage, the worst thing that you can do is to blab about it on social media, to blab about it to family and friends. 
I'm not saying that there aren't situations that you can talk about with family and friends, but when it comes to issues between you and your spouse, it is best that you seek a neutral party, whether it's a therapist, a pastor, or the like, to sort through and hash out your situations with. Putting your business out there, it not only hurts your marriage, but it hurts your children in the long term. They're not the ones who are going to suffer the most because the two of them could not collectively work together for the common goal of strengthening their marriage. And no marriage is going to be perfect. Way for your children to come back and see how the two of you treat each other in a public platform. Now, all situations are marriages and relationships. Sometimes the two individuals working it out is not always in the best interest of the family. However, to put your business out here for the world to see greatly diminishes and significantly impacts the ability to work things out as a family unit. So on my channel, I tend to speak to women because I am a woman and I'm also a wife and a mother. And my focus here is to talk about the things that women that we can do, myself included, when it's time for us to own up to our mistakes and our ways, to become better wives, to better mothers and better individuals. Please know the type of man that you are getting involved with. Understand that you cannot change a man, that the things that you see that you think that you can ignore and that will get better in time, that you know are not beneficial to you as a um, wife and mother-to-be. You need to really think about those things and understand that if it's that significant of an issue, you're not going to be able to change that issue with the man. So don't waste your time in a relationship that's not going to yield positively to your growth and development as a woman and a wife and a mother. We know that um, everything is not going to be perfect, but also understand that you can't put the lack of perfection for your marriage solely on a man because the man is not in a relationship by himself, you play a significant role as well. So work together to have a common good for the relationship and understand that it's not a personal attack. Any man that loves you and cares about you, he should be able to come to you and talk to you in a way that is respectful and where you guys can exchange information, ideas, and come up with a plan to rectify the matters that are significantly and negatively impacting the growth and the progress of your family. If you have enjoyed this reaction video, please take a second to leave a like. Also, if this is your first time checking me out and you are enjoying this content, or even if you've been watching me from the clouds for a while, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so very much. And I will see you guys in the next married, video. Man. Peace. Man, make sure that shit, make sure that person is your best friend. I like that, amen. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta make sure the person that you marrying is really there for you and not there for no insignificant um, agenda. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like they own shit. You know? how, do you, how do you, as a man, detect that? Because I was talking to a woman about this, I say, a man or court a woman, yeah. spoil a woman, yeah. spend all his money on her, and by the time some real shit happened to him, he find out way too late in the game that they not really there for him. Yeah, but but still then, still then, I mean, the woman don't know though. You know what I'm saying? It's like nobody knows what's going on. Even if the, cause a woman might think like, I really like this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just like a man might think I really like this lady, but then after sex, after certain shit happened, motherfucker like, oh. Ugh. I'm cool. Ugh. I'm straight. You know what I mean? Ah, I don't shit. think I need to be a part of this. You know what I mean? Ah, you shit. Know? But I mean, but that's why that's why I say like grown-ups, real grown people, you know what I'm saying? If you call yourself grown, and you know, some people think it's money, like, oh, I take care of myself so I'm grown. No, no, no. Like it's real shit. Like how you handle people, how you handle yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's like you gotta ask the right questions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My sister, I'm gonna shout out my sister Trisha. She 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 found out what I was going through. She said, hey, y'all little motherfuckers don't be asking the right questions. 
Y'all ask everything but the right question. Like y'all wanna fuck the bitch. Y'all want head. Y'all wanna kick it. Y'all wanna do all this fun shit, but you don't ask the real important questions. It's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what? What are some of the questions we should ask? What's your, like giving head? Is, is this your real is this your real name? <laughs> that's a good question. That's a start. No, for real. Is this your real age? Is this how you act for real? How do you look when you, you know what I'm saying, you take all that makeup? Cause y'all be tricking motherfuckers. Yeah, for a while. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> how does your hair look when you take that wig off? Or your extensions off? You know what I'm saying? Just like niggas, like, hey, like, what it look like? What you act like when you broke, bro? What, 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 what you look like without a haircut, bro? Like when your hair go, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you treat kids, my nigga? Do you want kids, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's a lot of stuff we don't be asking. And then when, you know, we, we blame the other person, but we ain't even ask that person. You know what I'm saying? That person would have probably told you that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>